girl some airport footage because where is she going what a mystery um anyways here i am on the conveyor belt and then of course i had to stop by the washroom to get some outfit cam footage anyways i was doing these puzzles while i was waiting for my flight hey guys and welcome back to my channel i'm coming to you guys with another travel vlog this one is a birthday solo trip so basically i usually get the birthday blues around my birthday time so i decided to just escape from that and just leave because i don't want to celebrate so i don't want to ramble too much while i'm at the airport like i always do so i'll catch you guys when i get to my location also guys i completely forgot to pack my glasses so i'm literally traveling blind right now so we'll see how this goes but um yeah i don't know i don't know whether i feel excited about the trip or like anxious i feel like i don't feel any type of ways right now which is kind of strange but um yeah i don't know we'll see if things pick up once i get there or if i'm just gonna be under the palm trees crying and we are off of course i had to get an airplane clip because i'm basic and i watched creed while i was in here and a bunch of other movies this is the next morning and look how beautiful this is the coffee shop i went to for breakfast i don't even eat breakfast when i'm here but i like to act brand new when i'm traveling and look at what i get to walk past every single day that i go back to my hostel and there's my breakfast again Hey guys, so I arrived in Hawaii last night, but I went straight to bed when I got here because I was so tired um, and I ended up watching movies on the flight instead of sleeping, but um, I got breakfast now. I'm just sitting in our hostel's backyard. Um, I have no clue what I'm going to do today or any of these days because I did not plan anything or do any research, but yeah, we're going to have breakfast and then figure it out. Okay guys, so at this point, I decided I'm going to walk over to a park. So a little backstory, I looked on Google Maps and it said it's a 50 minute walk and a 6 minute car drive, I believe. Um, so I contemplated Ubering, but then I was like, no girl, like you can walk. Anyways, I walked midway and then girl i could not do it it was so hot the sun was shining like a diamond and yeah so then i ended up calling an uber like midway through in the middle of the road and look how beautiful this park is i am obsessed and i just think it's really nice to learn the history of the places you travel before you start doing all the other touristy stuff this park was very peaceful there weren't a lot of tourists at all i think there was more locals than tourists to be honest and yeah just a very tranquil time i got to sit with my thoughts and explore it was really nice it was the perfect way to start off this trip especially because i was actually contemplating canceling this trip before actually heading on the flight because i was not doing too well mentally and once i got here i was so homesick which is so unlike me and i was also feeling a little bit under the weather so it did not help the case but this was a perfect slow day and it was so peaceful it just allowed me to recharge before doing a bunch of other tourist stuff anyways look how clear this water is and look at this chicken with this chicks i thought it was so cute i had to videotape it and i learned from my mistake from before and i decided to uber back okay so i ended up going to a park which you guys would have already seen and it was so peaceful like no crowds at all um literally everything was so like scenic and i freaking loved it and i just loved learning the history of like hawaii and like the cultures and then uh, there was like this trail that like led off the park and it was like swim at your own risk like that was a sign that was on the top of the trail okay it was basically like a cliff um anyways i saw that and i was like hmm seems sketch but then i saw people going down so obviously curiosity got the best of me so i went down and it was so worth it i was struggling to get down by the way but um the water was so clear um the only thing was it was like a pebble area so like um loki hurt my feet walking in it but the water was so worth it and it was so nice because it was so hot out today and then yeah i came back i was in bed for a bit facetiming my friends and now i'm gonna head back out to find like a convenience store or just any store selling water because i don't have any and you girls need to stay hydrated it's actually so hot outside um, but yeah i don't know if i'm gonna do anything else today because loki the time change is still not like fully processed so i'm already so tired and it's only 2 p.m because i literally feel like i've done so much already but like 
I only went to the park. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, maybe I'll go to a local beach, not a tourist beach for the sunset. But I don't know, or maybe I'll do that tomorrow. It depends on how I feel because I'm kind of starting to feel under the weather right now too. So yeah. Mission accomplished. So I went to like this gas station at the convenience store and I ended up getting the water bottle like I said I needed. I just got this one. Um, and then obviously I tried to sleep with the water bottle so I got this vitamin water but it's tropical mango flavored because um, I don't think we have this flavor in Toronto but I could be wrong. Um, I used to get these all the time in high school so I just got that to try it and then I got this. It's Mamba Tropics. Um, we have Mamba in Toronto but I've never seen the tropical flavor so I wanted to try it. And then lastly, I got these Maui style chips because my fork said it's really good. So I decided why not get some snacks. And then on my way back, um, I saw this like juice store, these pressed juices, okay? And I got this cold pressed juice and it comes with a glass bottle, fancy. So the one I got is Free Diver. It has apple, ginger, lemon, and blue spirulina that thing okay um and yeah i hope it's good because i didn't ask for the price before i got it and it was 12 dollars for juice um so yeah let's do a taste test on camera actually to see if it actually is worth it um but it seems healthy so i'm not like complaining but i am complaining oh roughly two pounds uh, fruits and vegetables in every bottle. Okay, so let's try it. It's a sushi one. It's actually really good. Um, honestly, I expected it not to taste that good because I don't know what the blue thingy is and the ginger obviously I just expected it to have like a little bit of a kick to it but it's actually very sweet it's really good wow okay so um I'm not sure if it's worth the $12 because like I could finish this literally in one sitting but I do think it's worth a try and it's also healthy so like why not everything healthy is pretty expensive actually and Hawaii in general is pretty expensive so I'd say why not it's raw local organic and also since I am starting to feel under the weather I feel like this might help a little bit that's also why I got the vitamin water I also have so many like medication and stuff with me just in case but I don't want to have to take it so we're gonna stick to the drinks and the juices also guys, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to the beach to see the sunset today because there's so many rain clouds out. It was supposed to rain today like all day, but it hasn't been raining. It's just been very misty. So I'm not sure if it's gonna pour on us or if it's just gonna remain misty, but yeah. So I don't know if I will end up going to see the sunset or not, but um, if anything, I'll go tomorrow. So it doesn't really matter. I feel like honestly, I'm spending a good amount of time here. I'm spending basically eight days here, which I think honestly like five days would have been good. So I'm not in a rush to do anything, but yeah. Real ones know that in order to get a real time update of what I'm doing on my travels, you have to be following me on Instagram. So here's day two. I went to the road to Hana with a few people I had just met. So backstory to this. Um, basically, our hostel does free tours to the road to Hana, but it is one of the most popular tours they do. So when I woke up at 6 a.m. to sign up for it, it had already been full. So I was like fifth on the wait list. So at this point, I was already in such a bad mood because I was like, this is the one thing I really wanted to do and I can't do it. So I was looking at like tours and stuff online and of course, it was like, $300 USD and I was like girl I am not paying $300 for a tour I could have done for free anyways my roommate ended up hooking me up and 
I was able to join her and a few others on the road to Hana. We just rented a car and went all together because all of us weren't able to get on the list. We did the next best thing and we basically just explored on our own, which I think I actually prefer that we did it this way instead of the tour because it was way more personable. We were able to stay at each location for way longer. We were able to check out the places we wanted and skip out the places we didn't really want to see. Anyways, the road to Hana is definitely something you have to do if you're ever in Maui. It is so scenic. There are so many waterfalls, so many places you can swim, so many beautiful trails. We saw these pigs as we were walking down the Pipawai Trail. And at the end of this trail, there was a massive waterfall and it was so beautiful, so worth it. My shoes did not make it, but I'm so happy we did this. And here's the food we got from the food truck, some more waterfalls. And then we saw the tour from the hostel and they were in these caves, which we didn't even know existed. So we followed into the cave and then we found the waterfall we had been looking for and basically we wanted to go here because there's a rope swing and yeah it was a really fun time so here we are driving back down the road to hana because we wanted to go see the sunset so we went to this beach in paya and it was so beautiful we didn't really see much of the sunset here but we saw so many turtles guys would you believe me if i said all of those are not rocks those are all turtles um it was so mesmerizing to see it was my first time seeing like turtles up close and personal and here is this little guy trying to get back to the water he was so cute and honestly these turtles were a lot bigger than i had imagined turtles to be in my head for some reason um but yeah, it was really nice seeing them. And then this is the most of the sunset we got here because it was really cloudy, but it was beautiful nonetheless. It looks so heavenly and it was really peaceful just sitting by the water. Anyways, this was a 13 hour day. So we ended up going to Safeway to grab some groceries before heading back and calling it a night. It's day three and it's my birthday. Okay, so today I signed up for a tour with my hostel to go to the west side of the island. So what we did was we went to this natural blowhole which i found so much fun i was literally a child at a water park my inner child literally came out i was by the blowhole the whole time just getting soaked by the water and i don't know i just find it so interesting that we have such natural phenomena anyways i think it's so peaceful just watching the waves of the ocean and literally just sitting by the water so this was so up my alley and it was so beautiful i definitely recommend this place as well if you guys go to maui because it's just so unique and you don't get this experience a lot and then our tour guide took us to this lookout point that she had found by accident one day and it was so beautiful as well um again we were on top of a cliff basically so it was really nice and then we ended up going to this summer's market and it was beautiful we went to this juice stand and i got the acai drink while i was here and it was so good um anyways while i was in line i actually saw this rooster and it was the most beautiful rooster i have ever seen the colors are so vibrant here's my acai drink i came back to the hostel took a shower and then went to the thai food truck to get some thai food which this this is the best Thai food I've ever tried guys so definitely try this out if you're in Maui and then I was so bored afterwards so I was just in my room vibing and taking snapchat so here's some inside scoop on what my friends get it's basically a room tour um, it was super messy this day but yeah this is basically what we were working with um, and here I am again because of course I had to make another cameo Okay guys, so on day 4, I decided to go on an adventure with a few of the friends I made from yesterday. So we decided to head to McKenna Beach and this is also known as the Breakneck Beach because the waves are no joke and I experienced this firsthand. I thought I could go as deep as my friends but girl, I was getting tossed and turned like a rag doll so I decided to come back and read my book and a lot of tanning was done here so this is the day i ended up getting sunburned which i did not know was even possible which i don't know if that sounds dumb of me but 
yeah i got sunburnt um anyways this is us heading up the volcano to catch the sunset um look at us literally above the clouds it was not so much of a cloudy day so you were able to see like the water and everything as well the sunset was beautiful and let me just give you guys a fun fact because i'm full of facts right now um this volcano actually makes up 75 percent of maui so you're able to see it from most parts of the island um anyways this is the other side of the volcano and it's just as beautiful with the moon and just the craters and everything and then we headed to chick-fil-a to get some dinner and end off the night the nuggets hit different so of course i had to get it so day five was all about the roomies so we started the day off really early again and headed to revive boutique i didn't end up getting anything but then we headed to the beach where i built this sand castle i was literally making a home guys but this five-year-old girl wanted all the smoke and roasted me for it but then she called me beautiful right after so we're on good terms again because all i needed was that compliment um, this is the most pretty beach I've been to probably my favorite out of all the beaches I've gone to and it was just so cool because it had like two different openings that you can basically swim in one of them the tides were so high again I was getting tossed and turned like a rag doll the other was so calm so I stayed in the calm side anyways of course I was sunburnt so I tried to stay in the shade as much as I could when I wasn't in the water and then we got some Mexican food which was so filling and so yummy and we headed back to the volcano to catch another Another sunset so here we are in the observation deck which i didn't get a chance to check out the day before so it was really cool to see and then we headed down to another spot to go to the washroom before heading back up for sunset and guys it's such a trek going back up the hill but look at me running up and down the hill when it was time to create content because all of a sudden i have energy and look how cute my roommates are and here i am looking like a burnt oompa loompa but it's okay the sunset was so nice just look at the start of it and then um, today was a lot more of a cloudy day so that's what you see and honestly like we didn't expect the sunset to be that great but I started doing a time lapse of the sunset which I'm so glad I did because initially I wasn't going to and just look at the clouds moving over time it is so beautiful it made the sunset 10 times better and it was the most beautiful sunset ever honestly I would recommend you guys really go to the volcano to see the sunset if you guys are in maui and then one of my biggest dreams is to come back to maui with my soulmate one day to do some stargazing on the volcano because as we were driving down i saw literally millions of stars in the sky and then here's my roommate skateboarding down the hill and we got in trouble for this so don't do it and then we got some food before heading to target because we love target out here and yeah we just did a little bit of shopping before heading back to the hostel and calling it a night for our adventures for tomorrow alrighty so it's day six and it was time that we explore the parts of Maui we didn't get to see yet so we started off in Lahaina and first of all I just wanted to say that day six I was so bad at getting content I did not focus on content at all so we went to like a few shops and different museums that was a glass museum this was a shop but it also had a lot of artwork so I guess it was a bit of both both, but it was beautiful i love the colors of this store we also went into a lot of clothing shops as well which was really nice and it was just cool to explore anyways this was the street it was like a waterfront area and then we went to lahaina pizza and co for lunch i got this delicious um deep dish pizza with salad because we had to be a little healthy in there and then we went to this beach it was so calm guys like this was the calmest beach that we had been to um we got to do some snorkeling here guys it was my first time snorkeling and girl i struggled okay but i lasted maybe like five minutes and then i was like uh, -uh i have to put the snorkel away anyways we ended up going back to the strip before heading heading to Paya which you will see in a couple clips but this is one of the statues I saw before leaving which I really liked so I had to get a clip of it anyways here's us at Paya we didn't spend too much time at Paya because we wanted to go to Baldwin Beach because there was a drum circle happening there um, so here are some clips of Baldwin Beach we went to maybe like three different beaches on this day um, anyways how many clips is too much for a beach clip because i have a lot 
and this was a really nice beach also i did not swim in here because it was later in the day it was really cloudy it looked like it was gonna rain anyways the drum circle started and i saw a lot of these people dancing and i found it so cool and then i took a creeper shot of this guy i thought it was really cool but maybe i'm just joey from you anyways we left and then we went to get some food um and of course I was eating healthy and then we had to head back to the airport to return our rental car and that was our day alrighty so it's my last day and I'm back in my airport outfit I don't know about you guys but I hate evening flights because I'm never in the mood to do anything the day of because I don't want to miss my flight so I'm so paranoid so I just walked around once more and just went into every single shop I saw and did some more exploring of just the things near my hostel and then I went back to the coffee shop and chilled there for a little while because they have free wi-fi there guys anyways they also have this really cute neon sign I wanted to share with you guys because I really liked it and then I got to the airport way too early so I went into every single store and every single duty free I could find and I bought so much stuff at every Every single one and then i got back to toronto and yeah that ends the video thank you for tuning in